Exciting times to be alive, folks. Uh, the Oculus Quest has finally arrived at my doorstep and we are going to unbox it together. It's going to be amazing because this is a standalone VR headset that does not need a computer anymore. You can just take it on the road with you and play VR wherever you want. Welcome to the future of uh, virtual reality. So let's start off with the, the front of this, uh, of this beautiful black box. You can see the Quest with its controllers on there and it's emitting this, this purple light that makes you wonder what does this HMD do? What can I discover inside? What can I experience? It's, it's very inviting and when the curiosity then kicks in you go to the back of the box, you turn it around and then you start to learn more about what it does and also what you can what you can play and it's highlighting a couple of uh, a couple of uh, titles we have Vader Immortal, Spart Scramble, Dance Central, uh, you can uh, explore the planet if you want and Dead and Buried of course number two the newest one in the lineup and then last but not least Creed Rise to Glory. Now these are just a couple of games you can you can check out on the quest there are many many more on the oculus home store so get ready then uh, we have these uh, three quotes the first one uh, says all in one vr as i said you don't need a, a pc and then we have precision uh, controllers this comes down to the tracking of course and uh, the tracking is good enough it's fine it works so if you want to uh, let's say uh, uh, dive into Beat Saber and play it on expert you can you're going to have the the most amazing high score ever okay so yeah the tracking is is solid uh, then we also have uh, the easy setup and this is the key to success I think that uh, every every consumer almost every consumer who is going to buy this quest is going to have such a fast and easy easy time to get this all up and and running because the only thing you have to do is uh, put it on hold the controllers in your hands and then paint this virtual playground uh, in in your room and then you can play within that space so is there anything else yes um, on the on the top it tells you what uh, what version you you have this is a 64 gigabyte oculus quest model and inside we will find a quest <laughs> what a surprise uh, two controllers the touch and uh, a power adapter and much more but that's that's mainly it so yeah that's what you will be able to find inside this uh, this package and um, i think it's now time to to start unboxing it for real this was a pre-show i hope you enjoyed it so far if you did then be sure to slam a like on this video and also let me know in the comments below if you bought the 64 or the 128 gigabytes model very eager to hear your stories as well so yeah now it's now it's time to open it up and dive deeper down the rabbit hole i just want to say that i feel blessed and honored because I'm one of the first ones to, to get their hands on, on an Oculus Quest. And I wish you, you could be here. I wish we could uh, have a party at my house, eat pizza, play with, with the Quest and uh, share the excitement that way. But technically that's going to be an issue with almost half a million people subscribed to this channel. So instead I hope that with this unboxing I can spark the excitement a bit as well so yeah let's um let's um do this let's uh, go Ooh. so there we have it the classic black box with of course the oculus logo in the middle not much has changed since the the oculus rift cv1 that i unboxed two uh, three years ago okay slow but steady Ooh, ta-da! There we have the Oculus Quest in its full glory. And the, the, the packaging is very similar to what they did with the Oculus Go. 
This is cool. And it smells great, fresh, waiting for me to, to try it out. So let's start with the Quest. This is the first time I'm going to, to touch it with my, with my ET fingers. <laughs> wow. There we have it, folks. The first standalone VR headset on the market. This is a historical moment. I could have never, never, never thought in the first place that this, this would be a thing. Uh, the, the fact that you could, you could play with a headset and turn your head was already next level. Then positional tracking came in and, and room scale and actual like hand controllers. And, and now we have a, a HMD that doesn't even need a computer anymore and you can just you can just take it with you on the road and go wherever you want. The possibilities are endless. And this, this will definitely bring us closer to the tipping point of VR going mainstream. I just, I just know it. Anyways, I'm rambling for way too long. I'm sorry, I'm just so hyped up that I wanna talk about everything that pops up in my little, little uh, brain. So let's let's go and focus on the faceplate of the quest because you can see these four four cameras and these will make sure that you can use your controllers in game and it will build a virtual playground in whatever uh, uh, space you want in for example your living room there is a sticker on the front that tells me that this uh, a quest is not for sale and that i should not be uh, uh, leasing it or um, give it away to anyone so let's uh, let's keep this one closed until until uh, the the quest finally finally gets uh, shipped to everyone it's uh, May 20, uh, 21st by the way if you if you are wondering so that's that's the moment you you can expect it uh, uh, to arrive at your doorstep on the uh, right side of the of the quest we have the power button you just gotta hold it to turn it uh, on and hold it again to turn it off easy and then we have the uh, left side this is uh, for the charger so if you want to charge your quest then you gotta do that over here and then uh, last but not least if we're talking about the front part of the quest we have two uh, 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 spots for a jack so if you want to use your own headphones instead of the inbuilt audio then you can there is one here and there is one over here i hope you can see this that's it and the the fabric is so soft on top of it the the front is 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 is, is plastic of course but then the top and the bottom has been coated with this soft material on the on the bottom we have, well, the slider, the IPD uh, slider, as they call it, uh, will allow you to move the lenses inside the Quest. And this will make sure you can, uh, you can get a clear and sharp image. It's, it's very, very uh, important. I will, I will soon show you how this, uh, how this works, okay? So don't worry, I, I will show you the uh, effects. Then uh, we have the volume uh, buttons, uh, the minus and the plus. So this is where you adjust that. Let's, uh, let's also talk about the strap, shall we? Because this strap is, uh, is very similar to uh, what the Oculus Rift uh, is, is rocking. And it's, it's a good one. It has always worked for me. Uh, there are other people that prefer uh, halo straps, for example. But uh, who knows, maybe you will be able to modify this and uh, change it up. You can adjust it on the sides, so if you pull this strap and you pull the other one, you will be able to pull it back a bit more. And you also have the, the top strap here to make it go tighter. So there are enough options to, to adjust. As long as you have a normal sized head, uh, you, should be, uh, you should be good, yeah. There is something, something hidden within the headset and that's the manual. Nowadays Oculus figured out that putting the manual uh, in, inside 
where the lenses are is a smart thing to do because no one will be able to miss it out. No one can, can say, hey, I didn't read the manual. There, there is no way, there is no way you didn't check out the setup. Are you ready to rumble? That's it. Wow, so we have two uh, stickers uh, on, on the lenses. One says that uh, you should not uh, uh, point these, uh, these lenses into direct sunlight. Makes, uh, makes total sense. Uh, the Quest is not, uh, is not something you want to use outside. Uh, I warn you, you could damage your lenses pretty bad. So don't try, please. And then the other one says that you should not clean your lenses with, with uh, liquid. Yeah, so just use what's inside the box instead. Let me just take these off. This is a satisfying moment that I should share, of course. Okay, this is one. Oh. And... Woo! That was a quickie. There's also this sensor over here. And this will uh, make sure your headset turns on when you wear it. And when you don't wear it, it will go into a standby mode. So this is this is like a like a scanner. Yeah. Now we took the stickers off. I can finally show you uh, the the IPD uh, adjustment. So when you use the slider on the bottom, this will happen. You see. So this will make sure that you can have a pleasant time in VR and see everything super duper sharp. I'm sure that some of you also want to know if you can take off the, the cover itself that is uh, wrapped around the, the quest and I can tell you yes you can. I can actually show it. So if you pull it on the side then you can for example clean it or even better you can replace it with a VR cover. I will make sure there is a link in the description below to their website if you're curious about their product. So yeah, you can take this, uh, you can take this off and it, it's not hard to, to get it back in there either. So let's, uh, let's now move on to the, to the controllers. At the end of this video, I will be turning it on for a second. So uh, please, please stay tuned for that. I, uh, I am going to uh, place the quest right here on the table. Can I have a drum roll please? Onto the controllers. Ah, this looks like a puzzle to me. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So this is the left controller and this is the right controller. A double check. Actually, uh, what is interesting about these is that they, uh, they put stickers on them telling you if you are holding the left or the right controller that's new and they are way smaller they have a ring on top now instead of uh, going from the base to the bottom and there is this rubber texture on the the, the sides next to the the triggers that will give you more grip when you play an intense game so when you start sweating they should not slip away from your hands of course you do need to wear the wrist straps as well don't go without, it's very dangerous. I, I, I'm an expert on that field because uh, I have destroyed many controllers in my life before. Uh, there is one annoying issue I have been experiencing with these uh, touch, uh, touch controllers and that is the fact that when you, when you uh, are, are playing in a competitive way and you start sweating a lot, uh, this, this starts to slide off. This is where you need to replace your batteries at. But since it's magnetic, it, it can, be, can be triggered pretty quickly. And the magnet isn't that strong. So hopefully Oculus will be working on this. To keep the, the past and the future connected, let me, let me show you the, the differences between the old touch controller and the new one. So here you go. You can see the slight differences. Sadly, the old one does not work with the Quest, so don't don't try. It's not it's not going to connect in in any in any way. It's almost like an inverted version of the original uh, uh, touch controller. Something I also need to warn you for is that uh, yeah, the original touch controller does not work with the Quest. 
the uh, Oculus Rift S controllers also do not work with the Quest and the other way around. Just, just bringing that uh, to the table before someone tries that out. It, it doesn't, doesn't work. On to the last, uh, last package. This is not the most exciting one I know, but we still, we still got to do it for science, of course. So let me, let me grab it and uh, open it up. So this contains the adapter, the cable that allows you to charge the Quest in combination with the adapter of course and there is this face cover this is for uh, people that wear glasses so if you wear glasses you want to attach this one instead so inside we can also find a, a reference guide this will tell you more about the headset its controllers the strap etc and the the cover for for the folks who wear uh, wear glasses so yeah there there you go and they uh, put the setup on there uh, too just in case someone someone missed it out we have two batteries and these go into the the controllers i would recommend you buying a couple of uh, rechargeable ones so you can keep on playing so as I promised, I would turn the Quest on and then also wear it for a second. So let's do that uh, righty tighty now. So here's the, here's the power button. Okay. Yes. This is it. There we go. Oh, <laughs> so. I'm ready to dive deeper down the rabbit hole, the matrix, the metaphors, the virtual reality oasis. See you on the other side. <laughs> Again, it smells so, so nice from the inside, so new. <laughs> but the comfort level is, uh, is, uh, is uh, top notch, it's great. Although I still prefer a couple of uh, leather uh, VR covers when they are uh, available. It's telling me right now to download the uh, Oculus app. Sadly, I can't do that right now. But um, yeah, let's uh, let's end this uh, video. I'm going to take it off again. Woo! Welcome back to reality, Nathy. Thank you. Oh man, that's a that's a bright light. Really, it kind of hurts my my uh, tiny eyeballs. But yes. That was the unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, slam a like on this video. And if you have any, any questions, be sure to ask. Um, I'm happy to, uh, to help you out. So I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching everyone. Welcome to the future once again. And now it's time for me to sign off. And as I always say, and I see you guys uh, next time. See you in the metaphors. Bye bye. See ya uh, later. Let me just stuff this into my backpack and go on an adventure. See ya! Oh shoot, I forgot to take the, take the sticker off on the front. You got me fam, thank you. <laughs>